Today's video is all about how to edit your tabs here in Google Sheets. So let's say you're working on multiple tabs right here. Now, when I say tabs, these are your sheets right here located at the bottom. So I have three sheets right here or three tabs and I'm going to be editing them. So if you click on this arrow down right here, here are the options on how you can edit your tabs. You have the option to delete, duplicate, copy to a new spreadsheet or an existing spreadsheet, rename your tabs, change the color, protect them and hide them. You can also move them around like so, depending on where they are located. And I'm going to show you how to easily move them a little later. So let's say I'm working on this one sheet right here. I want to make some changes and some comparisons, but I don't want to change the original one. So what I can do is to duplicate it. So let's click on that one and there you have it. So it will indicate that it is a copy of the sheet that you've duplicated. This is the original and this is the copy. So let's say I'm done making the changes and I don't really need it anymore. So I'm going to delete it again. Just click on that arrow down and select delete at the top. Here you have a warning asking you if you're sure you want to delete this sheet. If you are sure, just click on OK. And there we have it. We've deleted the duplicate of our first sheet. Let's say I want to rename the sheets right here. What I can do is to double click on them and then you can just type in the new name for your tabs or your sheets. We're going to call this tab number one. And when you're done typing, just press on enter. And there you have it. Another way to do that would be to click on the arrow down again and select rename. It will do the same thing. So just go ahead and type in new name for your new tab. And there it is. Press enter. And there you have it. And again, for the last one, I'm just going to double click on it. There you have it. Type in the name, press enter, and we've successfully renamed our tabs. Now let's say I don't want anyone to make any changes in tab number one and two. So what I can do is to protect these sheets. To do that, I'm going to click on the arrow down again and select protect sheet. If I click on that, my protected sheets and ranges panel will appear on the right side where I can enter a description for the sheet. Let's say do not touch. And that's for only tab number one set permissions. As you see here, the range of editing permissions would be to restrict who can edit this range. And that's going to be only you. You can customize it, copy permissions from another range, but you can just stick to what you want and done. The changes are saved and you can see that there's a lock icon now just beside the name of our tab, which indicates that this is a tab that you cannot edit. So let's try that again with tab number two. Same thing, add a sheet or range right here, add the description, which is going to be the same thing. Do not touch. Let's go to sheet right here. This is the range we're going to sheet. That's tab number two, set permissions. Same permissions, same permissions and click on done. And now we have locked and protected two of our sheets right here. So the only ones that can edit or make any changes on these tabs or sheets would be you. So other than renaming your tabs, you can also color code them to make it easier for you to distinguish which tab is which. So we can do that by just again, clicking on that arrow down and select change color. So here you have the options of the different colors that you can choose from. I'm going to choose this one right here for the first tab. And there you have it. So the color is not that big, but you can only see it as an underline for each tab. Let's try it with tab number two. So just select the tab, click on the arrow down, go to change color and select your color. And there you have it. So we have a green underline for this tab. And for the last one, again, select your tab, click on the arrow down, go to change color and select your color. And there you have it. Now we have color coded our tabs, locked them, protected them, deleted a tab a while ago that we didn't need, duplicated as well, 
color coded and renamed. Now let's try and hide some of our sheets. So let's say other than protecting these tabs right here, I want to hide them as well. So let's go to the arrow down and select hide sheet. And there you have it. Let's try that again with our tab number two. So click on the arrow down, select hide sheet, and now your sheet is hidden. Now, according to that message right here, we can view all of our hidden sheets right here in all sheets. So if we click on that, there we have it. Other than the new names, we also have the colors and you'll see that the hidden tabs are in a slightly lighter shade of black, more like a gray compared to the one that's not hidden, which is tab number three. But if we do click on it, it will reappear on our spreadsheet. Let's go back to all sheets and click on tab number two. And there we have it. We've unhidden all of our hidden tabs. And last but not least, moving our tabs around. Let's say we want this going here and this one at the front. We already saw that option by just clicking on this arrow down right here and we can move to the right. If we click on it, we have tab number two in the middle now. What if we want to put tab number three at the front? We can easily do that by just clicking and holding on to that tab and just dragging it to where you want it to be and release. And there we have it. We've successfully edited our tabs with all of those options that we have right here. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.